beautiful Maddie squad. My name is Madison Brunaler, also known as Maddie to the Max, and welcome back to me not doing impressions. What? I am very excited today because today I am doing something a little bit different. Different? No! Don't worry, it's okay. It still involves one of the best fandoms ever. Because for this video, I'm actually working with Disney, and they sent me this bad boy. Star vs. the Forces of Evil's Magic Book of Spells. I just, oh my gosh, this thing. This is just so good. I just can't even with this thing. Magic book, magic book, magic book of spells. Ooh. So when I first heard that this was coming out, I was kind of like, oh, okay, sure. My guess is that it was going to be like the art of Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Okay, cool. I got a couple of those. That's nice. I'm, you know, that's fine. But then I actually got this bad boy and oh my gosh, it is so not that. It is actually the Magic Book of Spells from Star vs. the Force of Evil. Everything that the Magic Book of Spells is supposed to have in the show. It has the individual queens of the past have written chapter entries where they have talked about spells, what's happening in their lives, and you know, general cool bits of data. And legitimately, I was like, okay, you can just read each individual chapter and out of order and sure, but no. No, you read this thing from cover to cover, and it's a full entire story of the history of Muni. I love the way that this is written because it's written so uniquely. In each individual chapter, you feel the personality of each individual queen. Everything from the handwriting to the way they're talking to the things that they're talking about, that's just so cool. This is the most interactive book I have ever owned. I mean, legitimately, you feel like you are in the story. The way that... <laughs> This is gonna sound really weird, but the way that the book talks to you, it makes you feel like you're actually a part of the adventure. I know that sounds really weird and it's not like in a Harry Potter way where your book's talking to you. If it starts telling you to open the Chamber of Secrets, just say no and flush that thing down the toilet. Otherwise, this thing is awesome! There are blank pages in the back of the book for you to put in your own entries. What other book does that? What other book makes you a part of the adventure? You get to enter Muni with this book. Chapter one, how to use this book. So, first you're going to need a wand. Boom! <laughs> Let the record show that I am uber ahead of schedule. <laughs> are we are we referring to this as having spoilers? I don't know, but there might be spoilers from this point onward, so you have been warned. The thing that's actually the most extraordinary about this book is the little tidbits of information that you get from it. Things that you never knew that you had a question about, you're now like, what? Like, for example, the fact that Glosseric is the father of the entire High Commission. The opening bit is written by Glosseric, and in it it says, Anyway, before you knew it, I fell in love with myself, and the two of us, me and myself, had some kids. Hecapoo, Omnitrex Prime, Lechmate, Ronaldo the Bald Plate, and Romulus. Mind blown! I have to reevaluate everything now. There's just a million of those snippets in this book. I'm not even going over all of them because there's so many and they're all so good. My favorite chapter in this is of course Eclipse's chapter because who doesn't love to read from the perspective of your favorite dark queen? And it's actually set up exactly like it is in the show so you can, you know, mm. Woo, there you go, it's open, woohoo! And before each chapter we got this gorgeous painting of each of the queens looking fabulous in their element, and a nice little poem. Eclipsa, queen of Muni, to a Mewman king was wed, but took a monster for her love, and away from Muni fled. I mean, have you seen King Shastakan? Who would want to be a married to that wig? Ooh. Who could resist a face like that? <laughs> the thing that I love best about Eclipse's chapter is that we actually get to see some of her and Globgor's romance. Or she likes to call him the Prince of Darkness. Much more sophisticated. <laughs> also, her handwriting is really hard to read. There's a chapter written by Festivia in this and it's done all like it's in tweets. That is so brilliant. You really get a sense of who this person was from these chapters. It's amazing. I keep saying amazing and cool and I say that a lot but this book is so amazingly cool. You can just like hear Festivia's voice in these tweets. It's like, got my wand today, hashtag loving life, hashtag loving magic, hashtag feeling blessed. What I like best about that is that you get to see the real difference between her and Eclipsa because they're not actually related. So you get to see how very, very different those two chapters are, but you also do get to see a bit of where Star gets it from. And we actually see Glosseric's room in the book. This is so accurate to canon. And he has so much pudding in his, what? is under his rug. I feel like I should be concerned with how much pudding he is eating. That can't be good for you. And can we just take a moment to appreciate just how amazing Queen Moon looks in this picture here? I mean, really, she looks fantastic. She looks fierce and beautiful at the same time. I love it. She's amazing. And then of course, 
we have the one and only star of the show. Star the Underestimated was queen for just four days. Her one decision on the throne, to give it all away. Girl, I relate so much to her chapter, it's kind of funny. And again, keeping with canon, her chapter just ends at Bon Bon the Clown. And then, it's where Ludo tried to write in the book. Anyway, you can pick up the Magic Book of Spells for yourself. It is now out in bookstores and online. I will leave a link in the description. And become a part of human history. Also, Glasswork is so snarky in this book. I can't even. Fan Art of the Week goes to Benny Batros for this awesome Princess Maddie Prince Roman fan art. It's so cute. If you want to be featured in Fan Art of the Week, then tag me at maddie to the max on Instagram or Twitter with your maddie to the max fan art. You can follow me on all of these social medias. I'm maddie to the max on everything. Ooh, and if you take it off the cover thing, it's... <gasps> oh my gosh, if you take off the cover, it looks just like the book. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I'm never putting the cover back on. This is so good. If you enjoy Star vs. the Forces of Evil 2, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon, get notifications when I have new videos. Usually they involve impressions, not so much book reviews, but if you enjoy my energy, then be sure to subscribe. So have you read this book yet? Please let me know what your favorite chapter is in the comments, or if you haven't had the chance to read it yet, don't worry. Just let me know what your favorite Star vs. the Forces of Evil character is. I want to know these things! And from now until next time, don't you forget to keep smiling. <laughs> they sent me... <laughs> don't drop it. That's bad. That's bad PR. Don't do that. And they sent me... This magical doodah! Yeah, I'm Elizabeth 2.0. Don't mess with me now, boys. I cut my hair, that means I'm serious. She cut her hair in the comic at the same time that I cut mine. I am Elizabeth! I hope that works.